gonna need you.
Truth is, Tanner, three years on the department and you're still the best driver I got. We don't get too many ex-racing boys in here. Low-life rumble in Miami is there's a hunt on for a guy who can pump the gas. Big getaway, big job. Maybe even some kind of hit. Some hood by the name of Rufus is in the picture. We need a line on it. Coffee? Black, right? Guys upstairs were asking for you in person. Look, we need you to go under. But no one's gonna know except me. If I bring anyone else in, I'll let you know. I need your badge. Any questions? You have one new message. It's hot. So listen. We want to use you on a bank job. No hassles. Should be real sleepy. You want in? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
You have two new messages. It's me. You did good. We got a real hot car. We got to get it out of here by afternoon. We need plates changed. Respray, man. We need a whole <laughs> workout. Get yourself down here if you want the work. But this car is hot, man. I mean, real flame grill, super hot. You have one new message. We want to talk to you. The marina on South Point. We'll just hang loose till you get your ass round here. Thank you. 
Need you to make an exchange. This case for a locker key, it's a sweet deal. Cash for a key, in and out, wham, bam, boom. Meet them at the marina. Get the key or stay out of town. Get the case, Seth. Nothing personal, buddy. Take care of him. And I'll see you back at Dodge. Seth? Seth? You have two new messages. Name's Deco. 
I heard about you. I heard a lot about you. I need a ride. Don't bring no tail.
You have one new message. Rufus here. I've been watching your progress, boy. Come meet me at the Electric Lady Lounge on Ocean. We're gonna talk. No tell. You dig? See, here's what's going down. You're talking to Rufus. The kitten's Jesse. The wheels you driving around this town are making a whole lot of noise. And you know what? I know you. I know your face. You know who this is, Jesse? He's just some driving cat. No, no, he ain't. He ain't just some driving cat, lady. This cat's got gasoline in his veins. Looks like you could use a drink, pussycat. I ain't thirsty. Looks like you could use a drink, pussycat. I was at the track when Rusty Slater got a little bumpy with you. Man, you started some fire that day. I thought they'd never put that baby out. Okay, so listen. You and me gonna do some business, see? The cops are babysitting a friend of mine, and he ain't too happy with the arrangement. I'm gonna take him off their hand. You catch my drift? There's a French cat in an armored car. Man, he's one mean, cold-blooded killer. When he ain't in jail, you know some cat somewhere is gonna take a visit to the morgue with a cap in his ass. See, we gonna bust him out. You gonna drive him away, all the way into a sweet 8,000 bucks. You dig? My friend, you better understand about Rufus. You screw up, you better not show up. We got a deal, man. Small bills. Fly, man! That's the car with the French cat! 
You have two new messages. I got some Ram Raid work for you. Should keep you real busy. It's gonna be real disco. Call me soon, man. It's me. Yo, dude. You were cutting it real fine. Here's what's going down. I got some problems with this businessman. He thinks he don't need to pay protection no more. We're going to have to explain to him again. He don't capiche too good, see? Well, he's got himself a chain of restaurants in town. So I kind of promised him we'd pay a visit on every one of his places by the end of the afternoon. Drive through the front of every single one. That don't give you a whole lot of time, but you just get it done. You clear?
shipment of Kalashnikovs is coming in tonight. I need you to meet it and get the hardware out of there before the cops get their noses in.
You have two new messages. Listen, got this real super fly car needs delivering. This baby's got the kind of groove injection horsepower that'll make you drool like you just spent six months in quarantine. Needs to get to an associate of ours before seven. See, he's got a job lined up for her already. So looks like it's gonna be tight. And it ain't gonna be no good to him if you get it there wrecked. Man, this baby's got to look like it just rolled out of the factory. Man, he don't want to even know anyone looked at the bitch, let alone touch the leather. Get here real soon, or some other cat's going to get the job. You have three new messages. Yeah, listen up. We're setting a trap. Now you one wise Caucasian, so maybe you figured out use the bait. Call me, man. I called you. So listen, get yourself over to Ball Harbor and attract the attentions of the Black Interceptor. Make him mad, then bring him to us behind Slippy Jacks. I'll set the trap up now. Then we're gonna have ourselves some party.
You have three new messages. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll have, uh, two extra large chicken deluxe pizzas and, uh, put some extra cheese on that, would you, fella? Okay. D'Angelo's been messing with our again. We want one of our drivers to take him out so we don't show his face tonight. If you want in, buzz me. The number you got's gonna be good for a couple of hours. D'Angelo. Yo, driver. D'Angelo's already been making a whole lot of trouble for himself. We had to bump the schedule. It's going down right now. I got plans. Cancel them. He's got a line on one of our jobs. Need him taken out real soon. Need his car wrecked real good. Wrap it up as fly as you can. You ain't gonna let me down now, are you? <laughs> baby, baby, listen to me. Why don't you come into the office? Come on, baby. Maybe I got a little something for you. I've got something for you. Now back off. Whoa, Jesse, stay loose, kitten. You know what this is, don't you? Give me the piece, baby. Back off, Rufus. Don't you go making this worse. This ain't what I wanted. Baby, give me the piece. You got what's yours, baby. Listen, lady, I gotta tell you, you got a real bad attitude. That ain't helping any. I wanna see my lawyer. You don't get it, do you? We don't want you. We just wanna know about the French guy.
Or maybe you want to tell us why you blew away your boss. He wasn't my boss. Whatever. Listen, if I don't do what I'm told, I don't live too long. If I tell you what you want to know, I don't live too long either. Life sucks, huh? Ain't you just the wise guy? You gonna cut a deal? Or are you gonna take communal showers for 20 years? The French guy was pulling the strings. Who's pulling his? I don't know. I don't know. Uh-huh. Well, we can come back to that. Suppose you don't know where he is either, huh? I said, I suppose you don't know I where heard. he- I heard. I heard. The guy's in Frisco.
Listen, I don't know how, Ding, but they ain't know. Maybe they looking for me. As soon as I take care of business, I'm gonna haul my beautiful ass out of here. You know what I say? Hey, be cool, man, okay? Listen, just buzz me if you get a line on this thing, okay, man? You know Rudy? Man, I, I don't know no Rudy. Oh, that Rudy. Sure, I know Rudy. He's my main man. Lay a little more of that green stuff on me, man, and I will sing you any song that you like. You know the Gold Rush Hotel mojo? Damn, man! Hey, the treads! Watch the treads, man! You know it. Yeah, yeah, I know. French guy in the city. On the run. Miami. Tell me who he talks to, where he goes. For Rudy. We gonna get out fine, man! You have three new messages. Cowboy, I got a briefcase needs exchanging. There's a card with a number under your door. Now, if you're interested, call.
Here's the story. Take this case and make the exchange. Go over the Golden Gate and into the mountains. I'll let them know the car you're driving. You'll get the picture. Just don't get all hot-headed. They won't try anything. Just make the exchange and get out of there.
You have three new messages. Come see me down Fisherman's Wharf. I got myself some sworn off action in the trunk. Yuppie's gang are looking out for these hardies, so I need a driver who can punch it if he got her. This disco your beat? Know about these for sure. Now we're gonna just see how smooth you operate. You have three new messages. I got a visit lined up to a mall. Should be sweet. Just short of a driver to complete the picture. I know you got what I need. This in your line? in my 
line. That's good, that's good. Then we're all set. Woo! <laughs>
Well, maybe you need to lean on the guy a little more. I'll uh, leave it to your uh, professional judgment. Tanner, hey, come here. Slater, here's the guy I want you to meet. He's been doing some driving for uh, associates of mine. Huh? So, uh, you two know each other? This guy used to be a driver. Till he had a little accident. Well, uh, a little competition might be uh, good for you, Slater. He ain't no competition. This is the guy who got me out. I don't think you want to shoot him, my friend. Not with a 357 Magnum in between your eyes. Hey, hey, put the piece away, Slater. That's what happens when you run off at the mouth. Now the score's even, so let's everyone just take it easy. Hey, I may even use both of you when uh, John Paul here earns his pay. But we'll get around to that. Slater, Tanner's doing work for me now. You have three new messages. It's me. I got some trouble with business. Associate of mine just crossed the line. You're the guy who's gonna make him haul his ass back the other side. See, we got a cab waiting for you. And you pick up this guy and give him a ride that helps clear his thinking. Make him understand our point of view.
You have three new messages. Hi! Uh, yeah! Uh, let's make it a buck out of Dunkin' Drumsticks Extra Large. Hold on the onion rings. But, uh, uh, you know that BBQ sauce you guys do? Give us more of that. You just cover the whole thing in that shit. And you know that salad you gave us the last time? Do me a favor. Don't send any. Tastes like shit. Uh, and three pork porkies with extra pork. Extra large fries all around. And don't screw up this time. Real sweet job, cowboy. Pick up some crates we just shipped into the warehouse from out of town. Get your butt down here and I'll lay it all out for you. My man, we gotta work fast. Someone's tipped off the cops. We gotta get these out of here now. Get out of here! Use the RV park lockup. Don't lose the crate, it ain't tied down.
Mr. Tanner, I got your little friend Mojo here. Say hello to Mr. Tanner. They bluffing, Tanner. They bluffing, man. <laughs> no, I ain't bluffing. More to the point, no. Chester ain't bluffing, and he's the one with the meaner gun. We want 10,000 greenbacks, or you ain't never gonna hear what Mojo made such a stink about finding out for you. Now, we don't care what it is. We just want the 10,000. We know you got that kind of money. Matter of fact, we were thinking of using you ourselves. But first, we're gonna have ourselves a little game. Get yourself to the call box in the Embarcadero and pick up your instructions. One last thing. Better hurry, because it's going to ring any second. And if Chester gets tired of waiting, that's bad news for Mojo here. <laughs> Real bad news. This ain't no Sunday school ride, Tanner. A phone's gonna be ringing the other side of the Transamerica building. Mojo's hoping no one answers it before you do. You getting the hang of this now? Now you're gonna have to get yourself over to Golden Gate. One last thing, better hurry, cause it's gonna ring any second. And if Chester gets tired of waiting, that's bad news for Mojo here. <laughs> Real bad news.
the $10,000, Tanner. Hand him over, Chester. One day, you and me gonna dance. Strike up the tune, baby. Talk. Those punks, Stan and Chester, just a couple of lowlights who got lucky and tagged me for a meal ticket, man. Figured I knew something you was gonna increase some bills for. You know what I'm saying? I guess I was their ace, and they played me, man. Uh, the French cat and Castaldi met some suit up in the Painted Ladies. The suit goes by the name of Hancock. Uh, Don Hancock. That smooth operator running for office on the East Coast. That self-same cat who surfs the backwater of sleeves. You know what I'm saying, my man? You know something else? There's some cat called Slater. He don't like you, man. He don't like you at all. If your brakes ain't working too good, he's the cat who knows why. You know what I'm saying? He ain't finished with you yet. So be cool, man. You have two new messages. We got us some plans to do a payroll job. Simple getaway, 20%. You have yourself some thinking time. See if you want in with us.
You have two new messages. One of our men, Ross, has been spotted by the cops on the tram. They'll be waiting for him when he gets off the other end. Get down to Hyde Street before the cops do. Bring him to us. We need to have ourselves a little powwow with Mr. Ross. Shift your ass, Tanner! Did you hear about Slater? 
We think the cops got him. We saw what was left of his car. Looks like he chewed on too much speed. Wasn't even a job. It don't add up. Mr. Castaldi don't want you working for no one else from now on. Only his contacts, understand? You can't trust no one here. Town's packed full of gangsters. <laughs> Get your bags. We got ourselves some work in L.A. We're gonna do our gangster <laughs> there. You have two new messages. We need a cop car. You get it and you bring it in. Your usual fee. But it's no good to us if you wreck it. So you boogie on over here, but with a Beverly Hills shine on that bodywork.
Sal owes us money. He thinks she's giving us the slip. We just heard he's got plans to leave town. He's heading for the airport. Stop him getting on the Frisco plane and we'll handle the rest. You have two new messages. We got ourselves a possibility downtown. Should be smooth. Our boy Lucky's gonna be with us.
It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Castaldi will fix it. It won't come back to him. Just get here quick! Okay, this time we took care of the business we came to this town for. Since we don't have Slater, we got ourselves a different driver. But, uh, Jean-Paul, you handle the hit, and I'll handle the backup. When do we go? Tomorrow night, on the steps of the Chinese theater. I want to know, does this mean the hit in New York is lined up? This means we take out Bill Maddox. Then we wait for the signal and, yes, my friend, then you can start shining up those silver slugs with a famous name on them. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Oh, oh one last thing, gentlemen. Don't let me down.
I knew we were coming. I'm sure of it. They were just sitting waiting for us. We were like tin ducks in a shooting gallery. Quiet. Man! We got a rat! I said quiet. Yeah? Yeah, straight we got a rat. You think it's the driver? I don't remember asking you a thing. We got a rat for sure. You drove well tonight, Tanner. You, uh, you got something you want to say to me? I drive well every night. I'll ask you one more time. If you got something to say, then you better say it. Slater. Slater's in a Frisco cell taking heat. You better get real specific, real quick. It figures. Slater knew all about this, and so he sings a song to the police and saves himself some circuits on the exercise yard. No way, Slater. That don't lay right. You would never do that, right? The question is simple. Do you trust Slater, or do you trust Tanner? This changes nothing. We finish up here, and we move on to New York, and wait for the signal. You have three new messages. Granger's gang's been seen in town, and they got our boy lucky. We're putting a team together to go and get him out of there. We still need a driver, and I know you can bring something serious to the dance. We plan on heading out in one car, packing a load of heat, then getting in and out like we think we're something in the movies.
You have three new messages. Check it out, man! I can offer you a getaway job! We're heading up to Beverly Hills! I got it all figured out! We're onto something mighty fine!
You have three new messages. We planning a job round first interstate, see? We want to use a new lockup. We want to know if the timings stack up. You the man to test the plan? Lek. It's Tanner. Why all the officers the other night? Not my idea. Maddox wouldn't play ball lest they were there. Did your cover hold? Is Mackenzie talking to the FBI? They were with him this morning. Marcus Vaughn, no less. One of their top guys paid him a visit. He told him nothing. Hell, that ain't hard for Mackenzie. He don't exactly dig Vaughn. I'm piecing this together, Lek. You want to know who flew into town tonight? Marcus Vaughn. I know, because I've just seen him talking with Castaldi. What the hell are you saying, Tanner? Just telling you what I saw. You telling me Castaldi's talking with Hancock and Vaughn? What the hell's going down? That ain't the kind of information I plan on keeping to myself, Lek. Castaldi's gang's flying out to New York tomorrow. I'll see you there.
You have three new messages. Cowboy, we need to make a switch at Grand Central. Something's cooking, and I want someone on it who's gonna be cool. Cool as Sly and the Family Stone. This whole job's still full of ifs, man. But if this sounds good to you, you know where I am. Switch this key at Grand Central. There's a guy in a Stetson waiting for you. Just be careful. I don't trust him.
Did you get it? They try anything. They wired you, huh? You have one new message. Listen, cowboy. We need you to take out one of Granger's drivers, but it's gotta look like the cops did it. There's a cop car waiting for you over in Bowery. All you gotta do is get to the bank by the library and wait down the back alley for Granger's boys to pull the bank job. When the dust settles after you ran the guy off the road, Granger's gonna think he's got a rat. This is a highly competitive business, my friend, and a little distraction for Granger goes a long way in keeping us out in front. Hey, Skim. Hey. Fix me a quarter pound of them chestnuts. Sure. Mackenzie wants you out, you know? I don't think your cover's gonna hold much longer. He's doing what he can. We need a cab, see? We got some more cab rides we need to give in the city. We just need you to bring us one we can use. Don't bring it in if it's all beat up.
Listen, we got trouble. Granger's gang's on its way to us. You gotta make us some time to get our shit together. Stop them getting to us before we can clear out. There's gonna be a few of them. Got a feeling, Lek. I got a feeling it's gonna happen real soon. They're gonna make the hit. Who'd you think it is? I got a feeling it's big, Lek. That's all I know. I'm not getting a kick out of saying it, Tanner, but I'm gonna play the same tune that you already heard. We're not sure if your cover's clean anymore. Man, you pieced all the together in the first place. Hancock's bribed half the FBI, and whatever deal he's cut with Castaldi means your ass ain't looking like it's gonna see winter this year. Should I spell it out for you? It's time to get out. Tell Mackenzie I'm gonna need that safe house real soon. I got a hand lick, so I'm gonna play it. And I'm gonna play it good.
screwing up over Maddox cost us time, but now we paid that in full. So today, you're gonna see how it works. John Paul takes up his position across the street. Tanner's gonna pass for FBI, and so he's gonna be our guy on the inside driving a Cadillac. Now all he's gotta do is drive past John Paul nice and easy. And bingo, we got ourselves one hell of a martyr and one hell of a news story. Now we're gonna have four backup cars in case anything goes wrong. One at each junction around... Excuse me, Monsieur Castaldi, but uh, who is the hit? Today, gentlemen, we killed a president. Where you going, Tanner? I got a... Didn't you hear none of that in there? We're going now, baby. You better start giving off police vibes if you're gonna get into that driving seat and do this thing. You okay, sir? I'm fine, son. We got him. Sir, you okay? Uh-huh. We got him. Tanner, Castaldi, Hancock, and Vaughn. We got them all. Take your badge back now, Tanner. How much of the FBI did Vaughn drag down with him? It's gonna take some time for us to shift right through all this. 
Meantime, take your badge back. Take it. Tana! Now you get yourself back here, Tana. Now you come back here and you pick up this badge. Tana! You just bought yourself a whole lot of trouble, fella. This is your last chance, Tana! You have three new messages. We got a real beat up car in our yard. We need it taken care of. But hang tight, cause you're gonna get a whole lot of static on the roads with wheels like this, I tell ya. You never seen such a heap of shit. I just hope that if you gotta run, it's gonna get you there.
I heard you were in town, Tanner. You still breaking and entering, Ellie? As a matter of fact, I was just about to leave. You're still keeping girls waiting far too long. Don't look to me like you're leaving.
This time I'm gonna make a fresh start. New city, new job. How long you been working for Hancock? A couple of years, I guess. Yeah, I know. I know he's crooked. What are you mixed up in, Tanner? What I know and what I can prove ain't exactly seeing eye to eye right now. What are you gonna do when this all blows over, Tanner? You have three new messages. Granger's wheels had just been spotted, cowboy. They're parked up in Midtown. Call me if you want to make a mess of them. Cowboy, I got a job in your line. One of Granger's boys been picking up negs that we want to take a look at. Now you get your ass in your car, and you chase that dude, and bring us those negs lickety split.
got a feeling like I got a feeling it's gonna happen real soon. They're gonna make the hit. Who'd you think it is? I got a feeling it's Big Leg. That's all I know. I'm not getting a kick out of saying it, Tanner, but I'm gonna play the same tune that you already heard. We're not sure if your cover's clean anymore. Man, you pieced all the together in the first place. Hancock's bribed half the FBI, and whatever deal he's cut with Castaldi means your ass ain't looking like it's gonna see winter this year. Should I spell it out for you? It's time to get out. Tell Mackenzie I'm gonna need that safe house real soon. I got a hand lick, so I'm gonna play it. And I'm gonna play it good. Where? I'm in Hancock's office. I've been in his safe. Bad move, Allie. There's a guard in the building, Tanner. They found my car. I need you to come and get me out quick. Real quick. What's the matter, Ollie? Can't kick this lock-picking Hancock safe was- What the hell were you thinking? 
You said you couldn't lay enough on Hancock. I didn't want you mixed up in this. I got this. Never pull this on me again. You gonna let me read this? Screwing up over Maddox cost us time, but now we paid that in full. So today, you're gonna see how it works. John Paul takes up his position across the street. Tanner's gonna pass for FBI, and so he's gonna be our guy on the inside driving a Cadillac. Now all he's gotta do is drive past John Paul nice and easy. And bingo, we got ourselves one hell of a martyr and one hell of a news story. Now we're gonna have four backup cars in case anything goes wrong. One at each junction around- Excuse me, Monsieur Castaldi, but uh, who is the heat? Today, gentlemen, we kill the president. Where you going, Tanner? I got a... Didn't you hear none of that in there? We're going now, baby. You better start giving off police vibes if you're gonna get into that driving seat and do this thing. You okay, sir? I'm fine, son. We got him. Sir, you okay? 
Uh-huh. We got them. Tanner, Castaldi, Hancock, and Vaughn. We got them all. Take your badge back now, Tanner. How much of the FBI did Vaughn drag down with him? It's gonna take some time for us to shift right through all this. Meantime, take your badge back. Take it! Tanner! Now you get yourself back here, Tanner! Now you come back here and you pick up this badge! Tanner! You just bought yourself a whole lot of trouble, fella. This is your last chance, Tanner!
Thank <laughs> you.
Thank <laughs> you.